hello friends today we will learn to draw palmer spaces in hand we will draw a cross section for this we will begin with cross section of hand and show metacarpals in it next we will draw dorsal introsia After dorsal introsia, we will draw palmar introsia. We know that palmar introsia they arise from all the metacarpals except third metacarpal. From the third metacarpal, we will draw adductor pollicis, which will go laterally for insertion. Next thing we will show in this diagram, it will be palmar aponeurosis. From palmar aponeurosis, we will draw medial and lateral palmar septum and also intermediate palmar septum going towards third metacarpal. We can see two compartments here, one on the medial side and one on the lateral side. Next, we will draw hypothenar and thinar muscles in the medial compartment we will draw superficial palmar arch below the palmar aponeurosis below the palmar arch we will draw tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis we will draw three tendons in medial compartment and one tendon in lateral compartment. Next, we will draw tendons of flexor digitorum profundus and we know that lumbricals arise from flexor digitorum profundus. So, we will also show lumbricals. Similarly, we will draw three tendons of flexor digitorum profundus in medial compartment and one tendon in lateral compartment. In the lateral compartment, we will also show tendon of flexor pollicis longus. Now you can see the spaces that is mid palmar space in the medial compartment. and thinner space in the lateral compartment. We can clearly see the boundaries of mid palmar space and thinner space in this diagram. Mid palmar space anteriorly or on the palmar aspect it is covered by the palmar aponeurosis, superficial palmar arch and long flexor tendons. Posteriorly or on the dorsal side it is covered with metacarpals and interosia. On medial side it will be bounded by the medial palmar septum and on the lateral side it will be bounded by intermediate palmar septum. Thinner space it will be bounded anteriorly by the first or index finger tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor digitorum profundus, first lumbrical and tendon of flexor pollicis longus, all these covered by thinner muscles and posteriorly it is limited by the metacarpals and interosia. Medially it is bounded by intermediate palmar septum and laterally it is bounded by lateral palmar septum. Also in this diagram we can see the dorsal subaponeurotic space and dorsal subcutaneous space. For more such videos follow easy anatomy for UG and share this video to the maximum students. Thank you.